Greetings, dear listeners. I'm Lady V of Aromagies Botanica, your guide on this enlightening journey through the rich tapestry of ancient mythology. Today we delve deep into the heart of Egypt to reveal the many layers of a beloved goddess, Hathor, also known by her comedic name Het Heru. Hathor is a figure of immense complexity and depth. One of the most popular deities of ancient Egypt, she is often depicted as a cow or as a woman with the ears of a cow, symbolizing her nurturing nature and her role as a divine mother. But Hathor's domain extends beyond motherhood. She was also the goddess of the sky, love, beauty, dance, music, and joy. Her powers touched every aspect of life, from birth to death. She was the mistress of the West, guiding the souls of the departed into the afterlife, and the lady of the southern sycamore, providing shade and comfort to the living. Hathor was also revered as the Golden One, a solar deity representing the Eye of Ra, the sun god. She was his fierce protector and his gentle nurse, embodying the dual aspects of feminine power. So why do people give devotion to Hathor? She embodies the joy and beauty of life itself. She reminds us to embrace love, to dance, to sing, and to bask in the pleasures of existence. In honoring Hathor, we honor the sacredness of life, love, and joy. As Het Haru, she represents the embodiment of the divine feminine principle, the cosmic force of balance and harmony. Devotion to Hathor is a celebration of the divine feminine within all of us, an invocation for balance and harmony in our lives. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. May Hathor's wisdom and joy inspire you as you navigate your own path. Stay tuned for more explorations into the mystical world of ancient deities. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm.